Hello everyone, welcome to Mary's Creative Decor. If you're a subscriber, I wanna thank you for watching. And if this is your first time stopping by, make sure you become a part of the Creative Decor family. Hit the subscribe button and keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today, I want to do something different. I have I want to make uh, these large candles that's going around costing upward of a hundred dollars so what I did was went out and I bought this beautiful bowl isn't it beautiful now I got it at Goodwill for like $3.99 it has a chip on it and I really can't even remember where the chip is it's in one of these um, little grooves here, but I can't seem to find it. So that's how insignificant it is. But this bowl is really, really pretty. And it was $3.99. So I wanna use this bowl, but it's a little flat. So I went and thought that I would take this. This was 25 cents. So I think I wanna take this and glue it to the bottom of the bowl to uh, raise it because I want to set it on my table in my living room and I'm going for for spring uh, everything mostly crystally or clear in my decor so to make my candle I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up about six of these candles I'm gonna melt them down I didn't even buy the kit because you can buy a whack um, a wick kit I didn't do that. These have the wick in the bottom. So when I melt these down, I'm gonna use these wicks in the bottom of the bowl. So I don't want it to be snow white because my living room is mostly cream, even though I have some whites. Guess what? I have some broken candles in this beigey color. I have one here in yellow. So I'm gonna use these broken candles as well. And this will give my So it's been a few hours and we're in the kitchen. So what I'm doing is taking some scotch tape and I'm going to add about Oh, hubby's home. He just came through the back door, but I'm going to turn my camera around so that you can see. I already have my candles um, in a pot with hot water, um, and they're barely starting to melt. Right now, they've been on for about 10 or 15 minutes, so we're just going to let them boil until it gets hot.
Of course, they did not have a linen, so I'm going to mix all three. And here is the vanilla. It's the same size as the I called about my mom who's 84 years old um, she had a fall but praise God nothing is broken but I took her to urgent care who sent her to the hospital for x-rays so because of that um, I'm just getting back so what I'm doing now it takes a while for the candles to melt and I also added the extra candles that I had into I'm going to add it to the hot wax as well. So the ones that have melted, I want to go ahead and take them out. And there is a wick. Let me turn it around here. Here, I want to get fish out the wick. So I can find it. I fish out the wick here. I take it. I add some hot glue on the metal. On the metal strip, add a little hot glue. I don't know if you can see here. And then I just place it where I want it to be. So right now I have four, I want five. I'm kind of doing one, two, three, four, and then one in the middle. So I just need to get one more. Put this back in the hot water. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and a comment. All of this will help uh, me be noticed by YouTube algorithm. So here, um, this is why I added the grid, the tape, to hold the wick. And now the voiceover because my husband came in again is after six o'clock and he wants to have a conversation. So he's having a conversation while I'm in record mode. So I had to voice over. Because my husband is still in the background having a conversation, I'm gonna speed up. I'm ready to pour in my wax. And the first wick that I put in, I didn't use hot glue. I just used a little bit of the hot wax and set it in place. And of course, it has moved. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit and keep pouring in the rest of my wax. That's two.
Now the next two jars that I get are the ones that I added the color candles to. Um, that's why the color is a little golden. So I want to add these two so that I can get that wax mixed up. And then I'll continue adding the rest of the wax until the bowl is full. Hopefully, I have enough. So I have the seven candles that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and the other candles, sticks that I had to complete the bowl. So let's go ahead and see how full we can get it. my last wick candle and now I'm just going to let this dry and we'll come back in a couple hours it should take a couple hours for it to set so we're gonna let it set for a couple of hours and uh, we'll come back so I'll see you in a little bit OMG y'all was gonna let me forget to put the smell good in here so let's start with this Illumini, Illumini Essence. We're going to pour half of this in. A little bit in different spots. Then I have the Vanilla. Same thing, about half in different spots. It smells so good. Hmm. Oh, this is the last one. Trend, tranquil, tranquil. I'm just gonna use these wooden sticks and mix up the smell good. And where I poured the oil, now we're gonna let it um, cool off. So I'm gonna clean up my mess. May candle turned out absolutely fabulous and it smells simply divine I plan on updating my living room for spring in the next couple of weeks and I'm going with a lot of the crystal or clear glass for the spring and summer so if you want to see how the rest of the living room turned out you gotta keep watching also if you've enjoyed this video and its content make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so you'll know when i upload new videos and here's a better view when i light it you can see where the wick is really not centered but that's okay I want to say thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.
God bless. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.